I know today has been crazy with videos, but I think this should probably be the last one of the day. I know it's been a lot. Notifications been going crazy. For those of y'all that got your notifications turned on, my apologies. But I just wanted to try to really get caught up with all the questions that got sent in this week. And I always appreciate y'all sending in questions, so thank you for that. But I wanted to try to get caught up before the game. Now, a bunch of people sending in a bunch more after that last episode. But so those, we ain't going to be able to do those till next week. Just ain't got the time for it. But um, I really appreciate y'all so much, man. I, I really do for real. Thank you all so much for the way that y'all support. I was just going through the comment section of the last video and y'all show so much love man straight up and I, I i really appreciate it so much so thank you for that because it just it makes a big difference it makes a big difference like your words are very powerful especially the positive ones so thank you for what y'all do now um the ravens uh when it was announced that they signed shamar bridges a couple days ago um i was really happy about that i was excited about that and i i did Temper my expectations. I, was, I wasn't thinking like, oh, yeah, Shamar Bridges is going to be out there on the field this next week. I didn't, I didn't and I don't think that. But I did talk about how I wonder why they made this move. Um, and I wonder if this was an indication that one of the Ravens receivers was hurt. And turns out they were putting uh, Tylen Wallace on injury reserve. Uh, he said with a hamstring injury. So... We're going into what, week 12 or 13? I think it's week 13. Um, so his, you, you got to feel like his season is probably over, most likely. Um, if, if he was somebody that they really used a lot more, uh, really at all, then I would maybe have a little bit of hope. Like, oh, maybe he'll come back later on. But you got to feel like his season is, is most likely over. But we'll see. I mean, we won't really know till we know. Um, so that opened up a roster spot. Did they put somebody on injury reserve? Uh, so to take that roster spot, they signed Benjamin Victor to the active roster. And that was uh, initially when I saw it, I was surprised. But then when you think about it, it's like, oh, OK, well, that makes sense because Benjamin Victor, he is the practice squad receiver that's been around for the longest. Um, and this is this is his official call up. So Benjamin Victor, I believe he, he would get a nice little raise. So shout out to Benjamin Victor. Congratulations. No more practice squad. I think he only had one call up from the practice squad this year. Um, and hopefully, hopefully they use him. Hopefully they take they use that size to their advantage and they they get Benjamin Victor involved. I wouldn't expect him to go for no crazy stat line, anything like that. Um, but just something. Maybe something. Um, just give him some give him some opportunities, give him some chances. Take some chances. Um, but I am um, happy for Benjamin Victor, and we'll see what this leads to. We'll see what it leads to. I'm not again. I'm not like, oh yeah, well Benjamin Victor he about to go off tomorrow or moving forward. I would love. I would love to see it. We would all love to see that. But um, this is cool for him. I, I, I'm happy for his uh for his bank account because it's it's gonna look a little nicer. It's already looking nice from the practice squad. The NFL players they get paid. They get, they make some good money. But now you want an active roster? Ooh, call call your people. Tell them, hey mama, we made it, baby. So shout out to Benjamin Victor, man. Now, um, and some other receiver news with the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Deshaun Jackson, he is being called up for the game tomorrow against the Denver Broncos. Um, you know they're gonna have some plays for him. You, you just know it. Like, you, you, I mean, you knew it from the jump. As soon as they signed him, you knew once he was on the field, he was gonna have some plays designed specifically for him. Uh, where well, they say, Deshaun, just go, just go, get out of here. Go, go, go down the field. We'll get it. Go. And, hey, that's, that's Deshaun Jackson. Um, so, but, yeah, he was called up. This is his third call up from the practice squad. So, what that means is that now the Ravens have two options with Deshaun Jackson after this last call up. They can either put him on the active roster. So, after, when you do three call ups from the practice squad, you have to either put the player on the active roster at that point. After that third call up, or if you want them to go back to the practice squad, you have to, they, you got to release them and then they will have to clear waivers. So that means none of the 31 other NFL teams can put in a waiver claim for them. And then you can put them back on the practice squad and then you can do your three call ups again, however you want to do it. But so Ravens, they have a decision to make with Deshaun Jackson uh, after tomorrow's game.
And hopefully, hopefully Deshaun Jackson makes that decision hard for them. Hopefully he makes it tough. Hopefully he makes it tougher for them to be like, oh, we don't know if we can really put this guy on the waiver wire because somebody might pick him up. I mean, <laughs> maybe, maybe. But, um, yeah, so that's that. Also, uh, Darius Washington, he got called up for tomorrow's game. Now, I wonder, I wonder how active he will be. Um, especially given how Brandon Stevens last week had a bit of a rough one. Um, Marcus Peters obviously had a bit of a rough one too, but Marcus Peters wouldn't be, uh, somebody that they would bench right now. Um, so I, I just wonder, and, and I remember last week, like Marcus Peters struggled, yeah, Brandon Stevens struggled too. And I was thinking, and I know a lot of y'all were thinking too, like, where, where's Pepe Williams at? What's going on with him? So I... So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they were just like, you know what? Maybe they were thinking throughout the game, hey, Marcus Peters is going to turn it around. Brandon Stevens is going to turn it around. Somebody wanted they going to turn it around. They got to. But So, yeah, man. But, yeah, on to the Broncos. On to the Broncos. Um, this is going to be it's going to be a very interesting game. You're going up against a great defense. A great defense. Their offense, uh, but their defense, yeah. So, Ooh, that is going to be a nice test for this Baltimore Ravens, a nice test for Lamar Jackson, for the running backs, the offensive line, the receivers, tight ends, Greg Grant, everybody. This is going to be a nice test for Ravens offense as a whole to see because obviously they've been having their issues here and there. You know what's crazy? You know what's really crazy? And I myself, I, I forget about this a lot from the last game, especially. Not the game before when they played the Panthers, but definitely in the last game. Um, I forget, like, as much – oh, because it's somebody who's been talking about this. I think it's uh, – mm, it's not Colin Coward. It's – uh, is it Kellum? It's not Kellerman. Anyway, real quick um, – with the Ravens, well, something that I forget about from last week, as much as it's been talked about uh, the overthrows, um, the fumbles, there were three fumbles, but two of them lost because Mark Andrews, the guy was out of bounds. Um, and Lamar lost a fumble on the fourth down. Gus Edwards lost a fumble. Was, oof. Um, what else? The overthrows, the, the, the receivers slowing up on the routes, the, uh, the drops, um, as much as all, we talked about all of that stuff, and all that stuff has continued to be brought up, they put up 27 points. They put up 27 points. They put up 27 points in an NFL game where their offense has struggled. There has been, again, I forget who it is. It's some analyst out there that keeps talking about the Ravens, and he mentions... Uh, Oh, it's Ovlowski. I think it's Dan Ovlowski. I I yeah, it's got to be him. Um, where they mention, like, these Ravens, they're 7 and 4, and they haven't even played an A game yet. Like, an A rated game. Like, like a, a game, a B game, a C game. They haven't even played an A game yet. And I was thinking, like, oof. That's, that's something. And again, this, and I know we, we're going off subject, but we always go off subject. Y'all used to that. Um,. The thing too with these Ravens is that man, they are the the the, the multiple score leads, man. That somebody asked in the comment section of the last video of the, the 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 Lamar Jackson video about how and shout out to my guy Manuel for even bringing up the way that he brought up another way to to potentially keep Lamar Jackson. Um, but somebody in the comment section. They asked, they were like, oh, I'm asking engraving and just all the team keep it clean this. What are the Ravens' biggest priorities right now? My response to that was finish. Finish. That's the biggest, that needs to be the biggest priority for the Baltimore Ravens right now. Finish. Because, wow, this is crazy. Like, I know y'all know already, obviously, but literally in every single game. They've had multiple score leads. In every single game, they've been up by multiple scores. Every single game. Every single game. That is so crazy to think about. 
every single game. And in what well, what do we, we seven and four, so that's eleven games. In ten of those games, ten out of eleven games, they've had at least a ten point lead in every game. And then of course in the Jaguars, they just got a nine point lead. So whoa, not even a big difference. But in every single game, they've had multiple score leads. As much as we are frustrated with this part of the team right here and the way they do this and these mistakes they keep on making and the hiccups they keep on having there, it's like if, we always say the same thing. It's the little things. It's the little things that they need to improve on this season. Off season, it's, it's a whole other story. But it's the little things this season. They just make a tiny fix here, a tiny adjustment there, fix that, clean this up there. It go a long way. That's why we, 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 we have the conversations. That's why we talk about it. That's why we bring it up because we care. That's why. I know somebody in the comment section of the last video, they were like, oh man, they said engraving. I had to take a break. I had to take a break from the videos. Because it's all this hate, it's all this criticism, it's all, I forgot what else he said. But I said, no, 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 don't, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. This criticism, when we talk about what the, what the Ravens, it's, it's coming from a place of love. But it's not hate at all. I don't hate anybody, I don't hate on anybody. Ain't no hate involved at all. I tell them, don't, don't, don't call it something that it's not. It's, it's, it's no hate at all. Um... But and we, we share our, our opinions honestly and respectfully too. So again, ain't, ain't, ain't no hate on nobody, no play, none, none of that. No, there's, there's none of that. There's, there's no place for that. Criticism is not hate. Saying something that you disagree with is not hate. Saying something that you do agree with is not hate at all. And, and I think people, uh, people can get it twisted sometimes. And I understand everybody got different like different ways that they view things so I, I i get that and that's fine that's fine but i'm just i'm here to set the record straight so that's that's why we had these conversations because we all enjoy watching the same team play we enjoy talking about them we enjoy the ups the downs of the football season it's fun it's, it's a great time we love it but we all and we all want the same thing we all want the same thing, obviously, for the team to have all the success in the world. We all want the same thing, but we each just have different ways of getting there. We have different ways that we feel uh, the team could move. We have different routes that we feel the team could take in order to all get to the same place that we want the team to go. That's it. That's it. So it's all love, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Again, thank you for everything that y'all do. Y'all really are very, very, very special. So I appreciate it. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. Shout out to Benjamin Victor again. Congrats on the promotion. Always nice to see people, especially from, from South Florida, but always nice to see people uh, get a promotion, get a nice little pay raise, um, get a new position. So that's cool, man. Happy for Benjamin Victor, man. So shout out to him. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We out. <laughs>